Welcome to another session of Abacus Tutorials by Hyper Lyceum Team. This video was made by Salman Hosseini and narrated by Kushapur Ramadani. In this session, we are going to model an external fixator's attachment to a fractured tibia bone. Bone fixation is a common method of treating fractures. In this method, the broken bones will be held in place with external fixators, such as metal pins, plates, and screws. By the end of this session, you will be able to effectively use the assembly module tools for your biomechanical models. If you are looking to download the files we are using here, please visit our website, hyperlysim.com. The pre-designed components are also included. Now open Abacus to begin our work. First, we import the pre-designed parts under the step format. Select Import Part from the Files tab. Then change the file type to step and select the plate screw, spongy and tibia models we have designed in advance. Next we need to create the cortico bone by extracting the spongy bone from the tibia bone model. To do so, move to the assembly module and assemble the spongy and tibia parts together. Choose the Merge Card option from the Instances tab and in the open window, name the Instance Cortico Seal. Select Cut Geometry in the Operations field and make sure that the Suppress option is checked. Now we need to select the bigger component which we want to extract from. Then, choose the smaller component that is intended to be extracted. After Abacus creates the hole inside the bigger component, which is our spongy bone, resume the spongy bone instance from the left menu. As for the next part, we have to cut the bone into two pieces in order to simulate a fractured bone. Change the module to part and select the cortical bone. Use the cut extrusion command to cut the model with the total width of 2 mm, 12 mm above the horizontal line. Then repeat the same steps for the spongy bone model, but this time the distance from the horizontal line is 15.55 mm, since the origin coordinates differ in these two models. Now that we have modeled the fracture, we can insert the plate. After adding the plate to the assembly, first rotate it for 90 degrees around the x-axis and then again for minus 90 degrees around the y-axis. Next comes transferring the plate beside the bone using the transfer tool. Select the tip of the plate here and then put it in the relevant coordinations. It is time to add the screws to our model. First insert the screw part and then rotate it for 180 degrees so it will match our model. Transfer the screw to the first thread hole on the plate. We are going to need 5 screws in total for our plate. Use the linear pattern tool to add them to the model. The first 3 screws are located at 19mm distance from each other in the Z direction. And the next 2 are relatively distanced at 24mm from the 3rd screw and 49mm from the 4th screw.
The last step is to extract the thread holes from the plate and bone models in the assembly. Let's start with the plate. First use the merge cut command once to extrude the shape of the screws from the plate. And then again for each hole to erase the remaining extra parts. To do so, switch to the part module and sketch circles with 2mm radius at each extracted hole on the plate. After finishing up with the plate, simply extract the location of the screws in the spongy and cortical bone models using the merge card tool. Our tibia bones fracture model with orthopedic screws and plate is completed now. You can also find the final assembly file on our website using the link below. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have any questions in regard to it, feel free to visit the Q&A section on our website. This video was made by Salman Hosseini. To find his contact information and his updated resume, please visit our website hyperlyceum.com. Salman is an expert in Abacus, Dreamatics, Mimics, SolidWorks, Ketia, and a few other engineering software. To plan online sessions and discuss industrial and academic projects, please use the provided email under Salman's contacts. The cost of the projects vary depending on the complexity of the work and can be discussed in advance. We look forward to working with you.